So before we practice yoga, I like to set an intention for my practice. And that just means a happy thought, something you might be grateful for. So just think of something that makes you happy or something that makes you feel thankful and just close your eyes for a second and think about that thought. Let's all take a deep breath in through our nose and take a great big sigh out. Let's do that one more time. Big deep breath in, big exhale out. Then you can open your eyes if your eyes are closed and we're gonna drop our chin to our chest and we're gonna make this big circles with our chin and we're moving really slowly because we want to be nice and careful with our neck. Everybody looks great. And when you're ready, we're going to go the other way. Hey, Sarah, I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. Doing great, everybody. Nice and slow. You want to be really gentle and careful with your neck. We're going to come one more time around. Bring your chin back to the center of your chest and rise back up to center. Good job. So we're just gonna take one shoulder and we're gonna roll it up, back and down. Nice. You guys look great. And then we're gonna move that shoulder up, forward and down. Let's do our other shoulder, up, back and down. Nice work. And then up, forward, and down. Now we're going to do both shoulders at the same time. Up, back, and down. And up, forward, and down. Good job. So we're gonna make big circles with our body now. So we're gonna bend our elbows, lean forward, moving your body in a circle. Doing great. These are called trunk rolls. Just keep moving. And this is a great time to remember your breath. Big inhales through your nose. Big exhales through your nose. You should be able to hear your breath. Sounds like the ocean waves. You guys look great. Let's go the other way. So move in the opposite direction. Nice work. We're just warming up our bodies. Feels good to move. Let's come one more time around. And we're gonna sit back at center. I'm gonna turn to the side. You guys can stay where you are. I just want you to be able to see the way I move. So we're gonna come into what we call a seated cat cow. So on your inhale, you're gonna lift your chest and look up. And on your exhale, you're gonna round your spine and tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, look up, lift your chest. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest. And just do this a few more times. Breathing. So 
So remember to take those big breaths in and out with each movement. Let's do this one more time in each direction. And then coming back to center, let's reach our arms over our head. And then we're going to just bring our arms back down to our sides. Inhale up. Exhale down. Beautiful job. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. So we're just gonna slide our hand over to the side, reach our other arm up and over our ear. We're stretching out our side bodies. Big breaths. And slowly come on over to the other side. Slide your hand away a little bit. Reach your arm overhead. Good job, one more time on each side. Good job, reach that arm over. And come on back. Let's reach our arms out to the sides and we're gonna roll our wrists. and go the opposite way. And then let's give ourselves a big hug and just sway from side to side. Good job. Release your arms up, reach them up. We're gonna take a twist. I'm gonna turn to the side again. You're gonna drop your hand to your opposite knee your other arm goes behind you and you're just gonna twist looking over your shoulder. And then reach your arms overhead and we're gonna twist the other way. Reach your arms overhead and we're gonna fold over our seat. Take a few breaths. And walk your hands back. Good job. And we're gonna extend one leg out in front of us and bring the other foot to our inner thigh. We're sitting up really tall. And we're gonna reach our arms up and fold over our leg. And it doesn't matter where your hands are, maybe you're reaching your shin or your ankle or your foot. Just take a few deep breaths here, take a big stretch. and then slide your hands up your leg. We're gonna bend our right knee. I think you guys know this as animal stretch. And we're just gonna frame our left knee and fold over our knee. Walk your hands back, you're doing great. And then we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together in our cobbler pose, clasping your hands around your feet. You can wiggle your knees a little bit like the wings of a butterfly. Try to open up your hips. Going great. And then we're gonna extend our other leg out in front of us. So whatever leg, you didn't use before, sitting up nice and tall, reach your arms up high and fold over your leg. And again, it doesn't matter where you reach. It could be your thigh, 
your knee, your shin, your toes. Continue to breathe in and out. And slowly come on back. And we're gonna come into that animal stretch on the other side. So hold your knee behind you, frame your other knee and walk it forward, fold down. Doing great. And let's walk our hands back up and come back to that cobbler pose. Hold on to your feet, rise through your chest and breathe. And then let's extend both legs out in front of us. Flex your feet towards your face, reach your arms up and hold. Take a few breaths. And slowly come on up. And we're gonna come to our hands and knees in a tabletop. Good job. So we're gonna take a few cat cows here. So on our inhale, we're gonna drop our belly and look up. And on our exhale, we're gonna round our spine and let our head drop down. Inhale, lift the chin up towards the ceiling, arching your back. Exhale, round the spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Everybody's doing a great job. Keep moving, keep breathing. Let's do this one more time in each direction. And then we're gonna come back to our neutral spine and we're gonna reach one hand forward. Great, good job. And then drop that hand down and reach the other hand forward. Great job, let's do that one more time. Reach your hand forward. Drop it down and reach your other hand forward. And drop it down. Now we're gonna try our legs. So reach one leg back behind you. Beautiful, and bring that knee down. Reach your other leg behind you. and drop it down. One more time on each side, reach your leg behind you and come on down, reach the other leg straight behind you and come on down, nice work. So now we're gonna do some hip circles. So we're gonna kick our hips out to the side, round towards your heels and out to the other side. So you're making big circles with your hips. Make sure you're doing big, deep breaths. Even if you're not moving, just inhaling and exhaling. Our breathing is our most important part of yoga practice. Let's make our circles the other way.
guys are doing great. Let's come one more time around and we're gonna come into our child's pose. Take a few breaths here, rest your forehead down. Take a few breaths. And then move back to your tabletop and we're gonna step one foot between our hands. Good, great job. And look forward and breathe. This is called runner's lunge. I bet a lot of you like to run, right? And bring that knee back and let's step the other leg forward. Sink down, you're in that runner's lunge and breathe. Everybody looks amazing. Nice job. Come on back. And then we're going to move down to our bellies. You can take that crocodile pose, fold your arms, rest your forehead on your forearms. And then place your hands under your shoulders. We're going to come into that cobra pose. Lift up and breathe. Nice work. You guys look great. Slowly come on down. Just take a rest. One more time, press up into that cobra pose. Awesome job. Relax and breathe. So now let's place our forearms down on the floor and we're gonna come into our sphinx pose. Looking up, breathing, maybe you wanna try slowly turning your head to one side and then slowly turning your head to the other side. You're doing great, one more time, turn your head to one side and then the other. And then rest in your crocodile, holding your arms over each other, rest your forehead down. And then place your hands underneath your shoulders, come back to your table. And we're gonna press into one downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And maybe pedal it out, bend one knee, straighten the other. And then coming to stillness, we're gonna walk our feet up to our hands, coming into a forward fold. And then we're gonna place our hands on our shins and we're gonna flatten our back like we're in number seven. This is called half lift. And then we're gonna exhale, fold down. And then like a bird, we're gonna spread our wings, reverse swan dive all the way up, take a back bend and exhale your hands to prayer. Nice job. You guys can come on back down to your mat. And we're gonna lay down on our mat. So make sure you can still see me even if you're laying down, okay? So we're gonna lay down on our mat. Okay. And we're gonna hug one knee into our chest. So you're clasping your hands around your shin and pulling it in close. Your feet are flexed, which means your toes are coming towards your face and you wanna relax your shoulders. Just take a few breaths here. And then we're gonna place our hand on top of our knee 
and we're gonna make big circles with our knee. And let's go the other way. Doing great. Bring your knee back to your chest. And then we're gonna take our hand on top of our knee and we're gonna drop it to the opposite side of our body. Reach your other arm out. So you're laying down and you're kind of twisting your body here. Take a few breaths. And then coming back to center, hug your knee in. And we're gonna point and flex our foot a few times. Doing great. Let's make some circles with our ankle. And then go the other way with your circles. Good job. Now we're gonna grab onto our foot, keep your knee bent and reach your foot up towards the sky. So your knee is bent. Doing great. And slowly bring that foot all the way back down to the floor and hug your other knee into your chest. Keep your feet flexed and take a few breaths here. Try to relax your shoulders and hug that knee in close. And then placing your hand on your knee, make big circles with your knee. Doing great. Let's go the other way. Come on back to center. And we're gonna drop that knee over the opposite side of the body. So you're taking that recline twist. Move back to your center. Hug that knee in and point and flex your foot. Make big circles with your left ankle. And go the other way. And then reach that foot up, keep your knee bent, grab onto your foot and pull it towards you. And reach that foot all the way down. Now we're gonna take a big stretch. And then we're gonna walk our feet up towards our backside. Our knees are tented, so the knees are up towards the ceiling. We're gonna place our hands down at our sides. Take a deep breath in and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Great job. Let's slowly lower back down to the mat. Take a few breaths.
And then we're gonna take a big breath in and lift our hips towards the ceiling. Doing great. And lower back down. Take a few breaths. And one more time, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. And lower your hips back down. So let's walk our feet a little bit wider. Your knees are still tented and we're gonna airplane our arms out to the sides. And just like oh, the windshield wipers on a car, we're gonna windshield wiper our legs back and forth. Let's let our knees drop over to one side. Just take a few breaths. And then we're gonna go back to those windshield wipers, back and forth. This is a really good exercise to loosen up your hips. And then let's bring our knees over to the other side. Let them lay down on the floor and just take a few breaths. Bring your knees back up and then we're gonna hug them into our chest and rock from side to side. Let's place our hands on our knees and we're gonna make big circles with our knees. So open your knee like a book and then bring them back together. Good job. And then let's keep our knees together and we're gonna make some small circles keeping our knees together. Mm. This is gonna feel really good your lower back is going to feel nice on the floor. And then go the other way with your circles. Good job. And then we're gonna come into our happy baby. This is kind of a silly pose. We're gonna reach our feet up and grab onto our feet. Our knees are bent and we're gonna rock a little from side to side, just like you would see a little baby in their crib. Lots of fun. Might make you smile or giggle. Everybody looks great, good job. And then we're gonna drop our feet to the floor and we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together and let our knees fall out to the side. So you're making a diamond shape with your legs. And you're gonna place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And you're gonna take a few breaths and try to calm your body down and quiet your mind. Just take a few deep relaxing breaths. So should you be able to hear your breath like those ocean waves breathing in and out Try to feel your whole body relax. Everybody looks great. We only have a few more minutes. Just keep relaxing into your mat. 
this is a good time to think about your happy thought, what we talked about in the beginning of your yoga practice, something that you're thankful for or something that makes you feel good. Nice job. So let's bring our knees back into our chest and just take a little rock from side to side. And then we're going to roll over to our side and press up to a seated position. We're going to just take a few more little stretches. So extend one leg out to your side. And then slide your hand over, reach the opposite arm over your ear. And come on back. Let's do the other leg, stretch it out to the side. Reach your opposite arm over, breathe. And come on back. Now let's extend our other leg out so we're in a wide seat. And you can just walk your hands out Breathe into this stretch. Everybody looks great. And then walk your hands back and bring your legs in front of you. We're gonna stretch our shoulders. So bring your right arm, hug it into your chest. Good. And then your other arm, bring it in. Nice job. Let's reach our arms up overhead and we're just gonna come over to the side. Come on back to the middle and over to the other side. Come on back to center, push your hands away. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale your arms down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Place your hands on your knees. And we're just gonna take a few deep breaths together to end our yoga practice. So try to relax your entire body, maybe roll your shoulders, shake them out a little bit. Maybe even roll out your wrist. Good. And then just placing your hands down on your knees, take a deep breath in through your nose and a big breath out your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Great job, athletes. So I always like to end my classes with a nice little quote, something to make you think about. And I like you know, just think about the fact that everybody's a little bit different and you don't get harmony when everybody sings the same note. Thank you so much for doing yoga with me this evening. The light in me honors and bows to the light in all of you. Namaste. Namaste. Yes. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Namaste. Thank you. Because it's Christmas. Hi, Amelia. Hi, guys. I'm going to ask you guys to stay muted for one more minute while I give everyone today's mindfulness code word for the total body challenge. So today's mindfulness code word is bell. B-E-L-L, -L, bell. 